Hello and a very warm welcome to highlights of this Group C encounter of Season 6 of World Series Boxing between the home team Russian Boxing Team and the visiting Rafiko Hussars Poland. The Hussars looking for their first victory of Season 6 are currently rooted to the bottom of Group C in their four matches so far. They are 0-4 with just three losing points to their credit. And in the opening round, well, it didn't bode well for them in the 49-kilogram light flyweight division because their representative, David Jagodzinski, was forced to touch down by a hurtful left hand to the body by Belik Galinov, who put his man on the floor for the second time, courtesy of the same shot, a sweet left hook to the body. And Belik Galinov, the European Championship silver medalist from 2011, got the home team, Russian boxing team, off to a winning start, a first round stoppage winner. We then moved up to the 56 kilogram bantamweight division, and this promised to be a high quality affair between the Italian representing the Rafiko Hussars Poland, Ricardo De Andrea, and his opponent, Vladimir Nikitin. Nikitin has already qualified for Rio 2016, courtesy of being the number one 56 kilogram bantamweight boxer in season five of World Series Boxing. And in this, his season six debut, he put his quality all over the contest from the opening bell. At the end of five pulsating competitive rounds, it was Vladimir Nikitin who gave the Russian boxing team a two bouts to nothing lead with three bouts to go. It was then up to the 64 kilogram light welterweight division and a representative for the Rafiko Hussars Poland was Maciusz Kostecki. His opponent was Grigory Lizanenko, making his season six debut tonight. And this was a really skillful contest between boxers of contrasting styles. Both of them landing hard individual pot shots in what was a contest of plenty of give and take. The first two rounds were taken in favor of Lizanenko, but then during the course of round number three, an unsightly gash opened over the left eye of Lizanenko. The doctor was called and immediately upon inspection, he declared that there was no way the contest could continue. The referee declared that the injury was caused by a punch. And so this premature stoppage was marked down as a TKO injury victory for the Rafiko Hussars Poland. Maciusz Kostecki got his season six record to one and one and crucially kept the Rafiko Hussars Poland in the contest, trailing 2-1 with two bouts to go. In the 75 kilogram middleweight division was the most keenly anticipated contest of the entire night. Thomas Jablonski wearing the black trunks representing the Rafiko Hussars Poland, facing Peter Kamakov in a rematch of the 2015 European Championship gold medal bout. The quality was as high as we saw during that AIBA open boxing tournament but throughout all of the rounds, it was Kamikov who had the advantage. And then in the fifth and final round, his quality and pressure began to tell. He opened up a cut over the right eye of Jablonski and then produced a sweet left hook to the liver, which put Jablonski on the floor, causing two of the judges to score round five, 10-8 in favor of Peter Kamikov. He secured a repeat victory over Jablonski and any prospect of victory for the Rafiko Hussars Poland disappeared with defeat in the middleweight division. That left just the 91 kilogram heavyweight bout to be contested and representing Poland was Mikhail Olhas, an experienced World Series boxing operator, champion no less in season two, and he was meeting the debutante, a 19 year old teenager, Islam Tikiev. Tikiev came out blazing, landing hard lefts and rights. But remember, on this, his first foray over five rounds, he began to fade in the fourth and fifth rounds. But still, he had enough left in the tank to hang on and get over the finish line. 48-47 for all three judges. A hard-fought unanimous victory for Tikiev and a 4-1 win for the Russian boxing team. They have secured a playoff place in season six.